Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this unturned map editor tutorial, I'll be showing you guys the final step of your map making, and that is how to submit your map to the Steam Workshop for Unturned. So, um, to start, you don't actually go into the submit section of this uh, workshop tab. For starters, you actually need to uh, move your map out of its current location. And so the best way to do that is first you have to navigate to your uh, game files for Unturned. So what we got to do, the best way to get there, unless you already know where it is, then just move there and you know we'll catch up to you in a bit, is go to Steam, go to your library, find Unturned, right click it. Then once you're in this page, go to local files and then browse local files. And then you should be right here in these uh, local files. So what we want to do next is you want to go to maps and you're going to select the map that you want to upload. And it doesn't even have to be done guys as you'll see in just a bit. So what we want to do first is copy that map because you actually don't want to leave it in that folder. Then you go to another folder that you made preferably around the same area just so you don't lose it like if you put it on your desktop and it's like super cluttery on there I know mine isn't but I mean some people have got crazy desktops it might get lost there you might forget where it is but you know just for organizational sake I'm gonna make my extra folder on here and I've just named it for uploading because this is where I'll put all the maps I'm about to upload so what you wanna do is you wanna paste the map in there and it'll be just the whole folder and everything. Second of all, you want to locate some sort of uh, art piece that you want to be your um, your mascot for the map, sort of your representation of the map in one sort of look. And I'm going to use this uh, thumbnail that I actually used for YouTube, my YouTube video that was sort of like the preview of the map. And so I'm going to use that for now. You can update that later though and you can change that once you've uploaded the map. So it's not a super uh, stressful thing you have here. You just you need something otherwise it won't work. So to start off what you need to do is you need to right click this this folder, go to properties and copy this and the way you're going to do that, you're going to right click, select all, and then copy that. So, you're going to take all that information that you just copied and go into the actual submitted submitter. Okay? And you're going to paste this into the collection path. And this pretty much defines where it's going to pick up that folder. Because that's your actual map. So, now that you got that done, you don't really need that that uh, folder anymore you can just exit out of that second of all you're gonna wanna right click the uh, potential uh, thumbnail or something for your map and you're gonna wanna do the same thing copy the location by selecting it all and copying it you're gonna wanna put all this into the preview image space and that's not all you have to do for the preview image, image space. This is actually a little more complicated. So what you need to do is you need to put a forward slash, the name of that uh, the picture that you're going to be using. And for me, that is Rusty. For yours, it'll probably be something else. And you're going to need the file extension for that picture. And this is a great place to find that. That is uh, .png as you can see here so look under type of file and it should either be .png or .jpg possibly .gif like maybe you can use gifs I'm not sure I haven't tried it I would though but guys just to let you know if you get this wrong it will not upload it's kinda stupid it's only a picture but it won't work anyway so what you need to do after that is the rest of it is within this uh, this page here you're going to want to put in the name of the map and that needs to correlate with the name of the folder that you created okay otherwise it will not work okay then you need to add a description and this can be whatever you want just something describing your map uh, rusty is a small map and it can be whatever guys I mean it doesn't have to be rusty as a small map it can be like 
what you wanted the map to be for. You know, like, if it's, is it for, like, team deathmatch? Is it a survival map? Is it a horde map? I mean, you know, you can do whatever. Now for the change note. This is mainly intended so that you can keep up with the many updates of your map if you have them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, like, I'm going to call it, like, a beta version 1. Because my map isn't finished yet. But you can upload a beta version, and it's not a big deal because you can re-upload it as a full version. So I'm just going to name it beta version 1, not finished yet. And you can put whatever you want there as well, guys. It doesn't really matter. So, for these things, these actually do matter quite a lot. So, there's a couple options here. You've got map, localization, object, item, and vehicle. Obviously, this is a map, so that's what we need to have selected. But, as a side note, guys, you can actually make your own localizations, which I'm not sure exactly what that is. That may be a mod. Um, objects items and vehicles and so maybe at some point I might do a video on how to f how to make those if I can figure it out myself I'm not really sure how to do that yet so the next option we got is public friends only or private now maybe if this is like your beta version of your map maybe you only want it to be friends only so that it can be like the beta testers or whatever um, private is just gonna be you seeing your map if it's private, only you can see it. Like, nobody else can even see it. Same with friends only. Only your friends can see the map. Like, nobody will know you even uploaded it. For the most part, I'm going to make mine public. Even though it's a beta version, it's not really a big deal to me. So I'm just going to leave it as public. And this other option, ready to use or curated, you're going to want to use ready to use. I'm not quite sure yet. I tried it before, and I tried it as curated and it really didn't work so you're gonna want to use ready to use otherwise it really won't work for you now as you can see there's this uh, other map option here safe house that's just a previously uploaded map I put on it's friends only so you guys don't bother looking for it you won't find it it wasn't actually finished either so you know at some point when I do finish it completely I will upload a, a normal version that will be public for you guys all this is about this uh, button here is it's just a warning that by submitting this content you agree to workshop terms and services if you click on it it would potentially bring you to a terms and services page but it says steam overlay needs to be uh, enabled for me so I don't know if that's on my side or if everybody's got that error maybe it's just not done yet maybe in the newer updates of unturned it'll fix that who knows but at this point guys the only thing that you have left to do is press the create button now it's kind of annoying that it gets rid of all this information and it failed to submit it so if it fails to submit guys I would suggest trying this over again make sure you got the collection path and the preview image a hundred percent correct as well as the spelling of the name it has to match the folder um, I don't think it's going to work for me because I'm on some weird internet right now and it's not really the best. And yeah, as another warning, it might be an internet hog as it uploads it originally. But pretty much that's all you need to upload your map. Okay guys, so once you've uploaded your map, it should theoretically end up right in here. And it'll be under workshop items and under unturned as well. So, yeah, and so these three right here, these would be failed uploads of the map that I just tried to upload. So at least I know something tried to go through. It didn't completely upload it. But this actually right here is the previous version of uh, Safe House that I mentioned. Um, currently, I mean, this is kind of what it'll look like once you upload your own map. I just use the uh, map overview that you generate with your map. Um, yeah, so the description will end up right here. This will be where your preview picture goes. Um, and yeah, currently this is uh, friends only. So like normal people, like random people that are just looking me up somehow, like you guys, unless you're my friends, which I only have one friend, so that's pretty lame. But, you know, not a big deal for me. Um they'll be the only ones that can see it so 
you know, there's benefits to that. Like, if you don't want everybody looking at your map and hating on it or anything like that. But also something interesting is that you can, um, there's comments linked to your map and private developer comments. So, yeah. And to download the map, you actually have to subscribe to the map. So that's kind of interesting. And I think also what this does, subscribing to the map, is whenever you upload another version of this map, it'll actually uh, re-download it for you, kind of like it downloads the Yukon and the PEI maps. So that's kind of interesting as well. It's uh, kind of nice. And yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Guys, don't be discouraged that mine didn't download though, because, you know, I'm on a sketchy internet right now, and... uh it really kind of wasn't a surprise that it wouldn't download just because of that so you know I mean don't don't hesitate to try it yourself so anyway guys thank you for watching this video uh, you know this would have potentially been the last video in this uh, unturned map editor series but you know keep on uh, giving suggestions for videos about the map editor and about other things I mean really I can do other games as well um, preferably free games because I don't really like paying for my games at some point I'll get into that but you know not right now um, but yeah thank you for watching again and I'll see you guys later